up, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> This is the OMD E M1 Mark II. First impressions is it's actually quite a nice, it's a nice body. The lens that I've got on here at the moment is the 7 to 14 2.8. One of their pro lenses, really nice. Anyway, the it's got a nice, nice ergonomics to the to the body, which I actually quite like. Uh, it's about the same size as as the Sony's. Um, remember, this is a mirrorless camera, so the form factor is quite small. But still, it's really nice. It actually fits my hand better than my Sony does. Um, which another thing I hate is I don't walk. I don't have straps on my cameras, so I always say if it's not in your hand, you're not shooting. So that's why I hate straps. This thing hanging around your neck, it's, it's not an accessory. It's not a necklace. It's a camera. So you got to use it. And this feels nice after, I suppose, depending on how big the lenses are and which lens you put on, could get quite heavy walking around the entire day with it. Um, but yeah, it's got quite a nice feel. The buttons are feel like they're all metal um, they feel like they are and it doesn't feel like a toy camera um, so these buttons at the back are obviously plastic uh, it's got a flippy outy screen which is great it's quite nice um, the part where your fingers go is quite deep so you could hold I could easily hold this camera out there for some time um, and it feels stable one thing I do like about the body at the moment is that it, it doesn't feel like you can well, with my hand, my hand's not massive, but it doesn't feel like you can accidentally knock the other buttons and it changes settings or anything like that. So that's quite nice. So let's talk about the lenses that I have. Because of the crop factor on this, it's on the sensor, you basically times these lenses by two. So this is a 45, which will be a 90 mil. And the next lens is the 12 to 40, 2.8, quite nice. And the next one is the 40 to 150, really nice. So, you, so the range you probably get is to 300. What about the lenses? The lenses are they're quite nice. The, I mean, it feels like it's full metal. Um, see at the back here, yeah. they've got a nice weight to them. They don't feel like plastic or anything. Yeah, they're quite sturdy. And I really like the fact that they, they have the everything clips in and secures quite nicely including the lens cap let's see I lose lens caps like crazy so it's always a pet peeve of mine that they always come off and sometimes you knock it see I could knock it with watch this okay when you're doing run and gun shooting, especially as a hybrid shooter, shooting from, you're going from photography to video, all within, you know, from one scene to the next. So you're always taking a lens out, changing lenses, putting this in the bag, taking the next lens and things fall off. What they thought of is there's a clip there, which I quite like. 
that's nice on my with my sony glass as soon as i take the woody off sometimes the cap falls off with it you know my reviews are are never um, the most technical i i shoot so while i'm shooting i'm going to tell you what i like and what i don't like um, but thus far just on first glance it's quite nice one thing i have noticed though is in the note in the in the menu structure um, yeah it's a minefield um, i thought that the sony's that was a minefield this is this is something else this is it's it's just as complicated but maybe you know with all gear you got to get used to it you got to get used to the menus you set it according to how you like it and your custom settings as well and then you know what's going on here i did do just a pre little test with sound and i couldn't as soon as i took the road mic and plugged it in to the to the uh, to the microphone port the sound cut out um Sure you can hear me now because this is now the camera's uh, mic that's on but, um, the, uh, i'm sure there's a setting somewhere within the camera that you can make it auto where as soon as you plug in any kind of mic it does pick up so i'll have a look at that um, but other than that i will try everything else while i'm shooting and let you guys know so on the other side of this so today I did a stability control test with the uh, Olympus on its own and doing the same walkthrough and I also did a test with the same camera on the gimbal to see which one's the most stable. Um, I'm impressed with, 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 uh, with the camera as it is, it's just you, when you are trying to do run and gun style, um, yeah the, the stability control is not perfect but it is good no shaking of my hands I mean my hands were shaking but um, you can't see it on the footage but the camera is really good I really 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 enjoy it funny thing the electronic viewfinder switches off yeah it's fine yeah it's fine in front of my face it's fine as soon as I bring it here it switches off why? I've got a reflective logo, my company logo. So reflective. As soon as it reflects into there, it switches off. That's irritating. I give him all my love. That's all I do do. And if you saw my love